Hey, good morning, everybody. I'm gonna give you a uh, apartment tour. This is walking into where I live and the little garden that started. That's my entrance. Down here is my laundry room and I share it with the basement apartment, which that's her entrance. Then if you go to the back, the gate there where the little hood is, that's the main floor entrance. So everyone has their own private entrance. Um, the main floor has an emergency entrance in my foyer, which is legal. And yeah, so this is where I live. Then I have the, up. they have their own little terrace. That's for Nicole there. The one at the back is for Emily and her husband. I have this front porch, which I really rarely sit on, which is here. It's a work in progress too, but it's coming. I don't hang in here too much. My planter's coming along pretty good though. I should have shown you from down below. I'll show you in a minute. I just came back down to show you that window box. It'll fill in. Morning girl, excuse you don't fill in to the end of August, so it'll fill in all the way down to the laundry room window. And it looks real pretty when it's full. It turns into like one big heart. Okay, this is the front entrance. And this is my foyer. My old chandelier here. That's a fire door for the main floor apartment. And then my door's open because I knew I was coming in. And this is where I hang my coats and stuff up here. And my little bit of art. And I have two of these mirrors. One I have in white and I did this one in black for down here. And I got this art in 2001, yeah, 2001. Very well known artist in Haiti. And it was $500 in 2001. I got it for a little less. And I brought it back to Canada. And, I, and then you come in, sorry, the light flickered because it's on a timer. And this is my stairwell. And I'm working on a gallery wall. Just got fill-ins to do there. But I'm getting there. And then we go up my stairs and when you get to the top, that's the bathroom up the very top and then the railings where the living room is. So there you go. The start of my gallery wall, my zebra, and then you come in. I have a hand there for my keys and then you go up. Okay, when you get to the top of the stairs, I have a cabinet here that I use for my linen closet because I don't have one. That's the door that would have been there for a bedroom behind it. Um, the art there is from, uh, I got that at Facebook Marketplace, by the way. The art is from a gentleman I worked with in the Dominican. He drew this at work. This is the bathroom right there. Not a very nice thing to see as soon as you walk in, but keep in mind, this used to be three bedrooms up here, not an apartment. A uh, picture of my beautiful daughter. And we'll enter the bathroom. Now, I renovated the bathroom last year, or two years ago, pardon me, and I tried to keep it old school, like the house. So I did the marble floor and the basket weave. I did all new shower, all new fixtures, a little ducky up there, that's from Jade. I did the little niche for the shampoo, the conditioner and the body wash. And the tiles go right to the ceiling. I painted the ceiling black and I got the tiles to go around. I have the same lamp that I have out in the kitchen in here. And I had really hard time trying to find a vanity that fit in here. So I did finally find a small one. And I did uh, black accessories again. The, the bathroom wasn't cheap. I'm not gonna say it was cheap. It was cheaper than most people. I only I spent about five grand, six grand. The mirror was from um, Mark, not Marketplace, uh, the Restore, $15 and I painted it black. And the little trinkets, I started collecting silver in here. This is uh, where I keep my hand cream, some Q-tips in this little bottle, and a little bud vase. And uh, I painted the ring here black to match because I couldn't find one in black. My hand soap, this little girl I just found the other day. Um, she's so pretty. A little trinket box that I keep, you know, jewelry if I want to take it off in the bathroom. I put a, a, that stuff that you get on Amazon to cover the window so I didn't have to put drapes in here. This little cabinet here is from Ikea and it fits in this little niche really good here. Uh, that was a really ugly 
plastic cameo and I painted it black. Uh, plants, I think I got the vase in Aurelia and the plants at Pier 1 when it was still open. Another little trinket box, wicker basket for garbage. And these panels on the wall here, I did this with four doors from Ikea from the as is. So they turned out really nice. So it looks like I have a paneled wall. This is another picture of a girlfriend of mine. Thrifted little finds. So that's like uh, cotton balls and lavender balls with um, Epsom salts. This is, I keep my vitamins in there. Another little trinket box. And this is Hendrix down there. He's my little bulldog I got for $5. And my little birdie up here. So that's my tiny little bathroom, but it works just fine for me. And it's nice and bright. There you can see a better picture of the lamp or the light. I keep calling it a lamp. The pendant. I don't know why I keep calling it that. The ceiling black's lovely. It's an old ceiling, so it was hard to get it to look really smooth, but keep in mind the house is really old. And I, I got this carpet at Facebook Marketplace too. It's actually a prayer rug and I use it for in here for a little pop of color. This is a peacock lamp. I like different stuff, you know that. Judy bought me the little globe for my travels. And I keep this as my linen closet. Works out perfect for me, because there's no cupboard here. And that would be a doorway going into the kitchen, the fridges on the other side of that. And then we turn this way. As you come up the stairs, you enter the living room here. And my house is pretty much thrifted or Facebook marketplace, repurposed, reused. I had a few things I saved. I went away for eight years and worked in the Dominican and had a fabulous time. And I'll show you around my house. So the sofa is new. It's from Ikea and I love that you can wash it. I would like to get another color of a slip cover. The pillows I did get at home since. The lamp I got for $10 in a little town called Trenton. The ram I got up in a little place where my daughter's in-laws uh, have a cottage called Sobel Beach. And my daughter bought me that last year. This picture I got for $19 and I repurposed it, like redid the frame, put a light over it. Um, and I really, I love the coloration in it. The candelabra down there, I have two of them. And that's from uh, the people that live underneath me, the tenants underneath me. They gave me them. He got it on a job site and he said he thought of me right away. The table I got for $6.99 and I painted it. It's got cane on the bottom. This big tall boy here, I got on Facebook Marketplace. And of course it was that cherry wood. And she's beautiful. The whole, the whole top on that, it comes, the pieces, the big finials come off. And I painted it um, black and I just love it. Now it's kind of useless to be honest with you. I do keep my clothes, some clothes in there because it is a useless piece, but it is what it is. This basket I had for probably 20 years and my girlfriend had stored some stuff for me. So she had it at her house and gave it back. The little stool there with the books on it, I paid um, $2 for it. Now Hunter, he's from the Dominican Republic and he's my favorite piece I have. I did pay $400 for that. I've had him forever. Now, when I shipped him home, I was scared his little paws were going to break in the front, but it didn't. And I was so happy because he's my favorite little thing. And I talk to him every day. Hunter, say hi to everybody. Yeah, not a little crazy, right? The chair over here, it's a little vanity chair, actually, the gold one. I got that for eight bucks um, just down the street from me. Uh, um, a little garage sale. This plant doesn't die, doesn't live. No, it lives. Doesn't die, but doesn't grow. Let me get it right. These two chairs here, I got off Facebook Marketplace. Uh, Reupholstered the seat covers. They were red with flowers and painted the rest white. Even the arms and that. With I painted all this. Even the fabric on it. The pillow is a home sense piece. I think I paid $34 for it. The little table I got from Rose, uh, she had it. 
The lion underneath I bought years ago for a couple dollars at the thrift store with my daughter. The frog I just got at the flea market. Now this little birdie picture over here is from my favorite artist, Brad Woodfin. Um, it's, it's a birdie, it's I. He also did this piece too. He's my favorite artist. I just love, I wish I could have all his art. It, this is beautiful. Look at the eye on that. Like it's fabulous. He's a Canadian artist out of Montreal. The drapes, I believe I got at Ikea. The curtain rod, I got at um, a store up in Barrie with my cousin for like 20 bucks at a liquidation store. Uh, the little pillow I got for the the case of the pillow, I got that one for $3 at H&M. This plant I found on the road and it was dying, the Monsturus. The fern, when I first came back from the Dominican, Judy left this here at the house for me and she put groceries in the apartment for me. And um, I cut it in half and put it outside the first year because we were in lockdown and I couldn't really buy a lot of plants, but it's thrived. It's just doing so well. Uh, the little stool I got free off uh, Facebook Marketplace. Planned on covering it a few times, but didn't. Kind of like the plaid myself. I don't know. And the table, you know, it's not perfect. I love the base of it. It's like a wrought iron piece underneath there. But I got that for 25 bucks from a lady I met on the streetcar. The, the vase here I've had forever. It's a Tiffany vase my cousin bought me. I think for my 35th birthday, maybe 40th birthday. Not sure. The little birdie Emily downstairs gave to me. She got it at a show that she was at. And she said, do you guys want that? And they said, no. And she took it. It was from a staging show. And she took it and gave it to me. So that's basically my living room. Oh, I didn't go up. I got this at the ReStore for $35 in St. Catharines. And the top piece I got for $10 at the Goodwill. So that's basically my living room. The carpet, I had a black hide down here. I sold it for $150 and bought this one for $200, $199 at HomeSense and used the $150. Plus, I had a $50 gift certificate from a gift. So the carpet cost me nothing, which was fabulous. So there you go. There's a scan of my, my living quarters. This used to be a bedroom, obviously. This is a big old house. And I'm in the kitchen right now, and this was a bed. There was three bedrooms upstairs here in a bathroom. So three apartments in this house. The main floor has two bedroom, beautiful, huge kitchen, its own laundry um, in the basement. Big, ba big, two bathrooms. One's a two piece, one's a three piece. So there you go. That's a thrift at Mirror over there too. I got that for $8.99. Walking out of Value Village one day, it was sitting there, and I said to the lady, is someone taking that? And she said, no. So I grabbed it. You know, I love all that gold stuff. So there you go. I'll get into the next room now. I hope you enjoyed that. But what you can do with thrifting, right? Oh, I this flower's, um, I was cutting up my million bells this morning, and the little pot that that's in, I got in New York when I went this year for my birthday. It's a little rusted little pot. I found it on the street. My daughter's like, what are you doing? I'm like, well, I don't know, memory from there. I'll move into the kitchen now. Now this is my little kitchen right off the living room. As you see, this turn. This used to be a bedroom too. There was a wall where I'm standing and the door was right there where the refrigerator fits into. That would have been an entry door. I have a little bit of a mess underneath there. That's stuff I'm giving to my sister. I got this picture from my cousin, uh, Stephen. He was on a paint job and the lady gave it to him. The lamp, I thrifted for like five bucks. The shade, probably 20 bucks. Um, the little set over here for champagne was a gift from a gentleman. The floor is goth. And my chairs are zebra. The chairs were $20 each and had them reupholstered in the zebra. Uh, the table is two tables. Uh, the stand for the top of this table is downstairs. I use for a spider plant. 
and the base is a parlor base, a cast iron one. And the reason I did that is because the one downstairs, I couldn't get the legs to go underneath the rad there. So the cast iron one went under. The little uh, bunny underneath there, I thrifted and he was purple and I painted him black. This table does open up a little bit more. It's got another leaf on the other side. I keep little uh, plants in the window there. And I sit here every day and eat my dinner with my daughter. That's my daughter in the picture. And a little junky, but I don't have a lot of counter space, so I keep my fruits and stuff here. That's the other candelabra that I got from uh, the tenant downstairs. Uh, Emmanuel gave me that. And that's my new little fine, my little daisy that Miss Linda named it, <laughs> the Winkin' Frog. Yeah, so cute. This is a crown in here that the plant's growing up. Judy gave me a clipping and it's growing like a weed. The horse head's name Sienna. And the girl underneath it is a girl I worked with um, that is now deceased. And she was a equestrian rider. So I just keep her there and the horse head. The thing on the top of the door, I thrifted for probably $3, painted it white. It was uh, kind of a woody color, but it wasn't real wood, it's plastic, I believe. The door I painted black and I put my B, that's two different things. The B was from HomeSense and the, the crown had a hook on it and it broke. I had it in the Dominican in my bedroom to hang my robe on and it broke in the move. So I just put it above the queen or above the B for my queen B. This picture I got for $2 when I was house sitting in Trenton for my girlfriend Judy and I took it home and painted it and made it a little bit more my style. I added all the black and stuff and it had an ugly frame on it and that, but it looks nice now. I just like the coloring. The picture underneath I absolutely love. It reminds me of the Caribbean, even though it's probably not the Caribbean. Reminds me of a place called um, um, Alvaralto, Dominican Republic. The little bunny was a gift this year and I keep my garlic and that in there. The dishes are, they're like sandwich plates and that. I use them quite often. Well, and that's my new little find underneath it that I got the other day at the Value Village. The table I found on the side of the road for free. And everyone's probably saying, oh, why would you have that so close to the stove? Well, I don't use the oven every day. So, and all I have to do is shove it, it's nothing. The little bunnies underneath were a gift from a girl named Lisa and they were silver and I spray painted them black. I have a thing for bunnies if you haven't seen. I bought, uh, or Judy bought me this little bunny um, hook here and I bought these at a flea market, uh, the little measuring spoons. That's Brad uh, Woodfin again, the, my bunny up here. I have an apartment size stove, works like a charm. Um, thrifted this little board. The Buddha's from a gentleman in the Dominican Republic, Chad, a really good friend of mine. He bought me that, mm, I think for my 50th birthday maybe. I don't know, I can't quite remember. Um, I would like to, I'd like to change the countertops now, they're due. There's a, a burn hole on this piece here. I'm not going to hide anything from anybody. I'm sure you've seen it in my videos. I just keep a tea towel on it. Um, a tenant did that, not me. And long story short, I'm going to change it one day. I just haven't quite figured out. I have a couple of really good ideas I want to do for this little kitchen. I was thinking of taking a huge china cabinet and putting it here and here, but you have to get the right figurations, right? This little picture is thrifted as well. Um, I got that at the Value Village for a few bucks, I guess. This is a pineapple. I keep my junk in. We all need to have a little junk spot. Um, I keep my soap and my hand cream right there. I have a mirror in the kitchen just to reflect. This little lamp I had forever in every kitchen I've ever had. And my girlfriend Judy stored it for me. And when I came back, she gave it to me. It was nice. I had a few things to come home to after you sell everything off. The top of the fridge is a bit of a mess, but it's an old, old fridge, but it works beautifully. It's a whirlpool and I wouldn't give it up for anything. It keeps everything just perfect. This parrot up here, my daughter uh, bought two of them in LA um, and she gave me one. She only wanted one for her bookcase. So we both have one of them. And that's about it for my little kitchen. It's not very big as you can see. And that black door there that I painted 
goes out to what I made a pantry. This lamp is from Facebook Marketplace, or the pendant, I guess you'd say. They're about $700. They're very heavy from a, from a very good company. I have two of them and I got them for $80 each. Love, love, love it. It's really hard to put a new bulb in though. It's hard to put back together. So there you go. I'll give you a quick scan of my little kitchen. Like I said, it's not big, but it does what it needs to do. Okay, and as you exit out here, I made this into my pantry. It's a little messy right now. I need to organize it. So I'm just gonna hook the door on so we can leave it open. Um, and I have a big fern out here, a couple plants tucked back in there, a vine growing, an antique bird cage, um, embroidered uh, parrot that I picked up at the thrift store. This bird cage I've had forever. It used to be on a huge stand. Uh, the cabinet I got for $10 and painted it. That's a little heater because this room can get really cold. Pardon the mess in the corner, it's life. Of course, my new ducky picture. Thrift it. The lamp uh, was in my daughter's first apartment when she was going to university or college. And of course, my little chickens. I have a thing for little chickens. Look at the little one up there perching. That's uh, from an old calendar. I keep my plates on this rack here. I got a few different sets. They're mixed up a little bit, but I do have sets. And then I keep my pantry stuff in here and all the drawers as well. I just bought this cabinet off Facebook Marketplace. Bought the shelves off Facebook Marketplace. That's my vase collection. An old birdcage off Facebook Marketplace. A couple plants up there. My new little find. I haven't found a home for it yet, but I will. Let um, me enter up to my little treehouse terrace here, my upper terrace. And my plants are thriving. I cut her back yesterday. She was huge but all the plants up here are doing really well. The little bunny in there. Um, I Facebook Marketplace, the English Garden. These chairs are Facebook Marketplace. This chaise lounge was in blue, powder blue, and I recovered it and stuff, Facebook Marketplace. Had to bring it over the railing because it was too big, just like my big French chairs. I had to do that too. Candelabra with the new little lights in there that I got off Amazon, reoperate it. So that's my terrace up here. This is my little garden up here. Everything's growing really well. My lemon tree's thriving. Um, some flowers need to come back. I'm losing some of them now. So this is my garden up on the little tree house. My tomato plant, another fern, of course. My barbecue. And most things in here, I've thrifted. The table was uh, a find. The bunnies I got for $10 and they're hiding in the garden there. This bunny I got from a junkyard and he's all chippy, but I love him for that. That I got at a, a store. I don't know what the purpose of it was for, but I made it into a plaque and that one I got for a dollar. And I think I said that in another video, so I won't repeat that too much. Sorry about that. But there's my little garden up here. And she's doing just fine. Little ginger jar from the thrift store, just to pop a color. My Buddha from Judy it was a birthday gift years ago. There you go. So now we're back into the pantry. And if you keep walking from the living room, I wasn't gonna show this because it's nowhere near done. This is my bedroom. I'm in the process of making a closet in here, a uh, cupboard, like with shelves. I have the wood there and everything. I just got to get it all done. I have a whole basket of stuff I need to put in there. I don't have closet doors on here, so I put shears onto my closet. It was just way cheaper. Um, I got this beautiful, I call it my jewelry box, from Facebook Marketplace. Painted it up. And I got the birdie at a thrift store in... Los Angeles visiting my daughter. That's my daddy and me, uh, my daughter and her husband. 
and I keep all my jewelry and trinkets and stuff like that in here. I do have a window air conditioner, a floor one, because it's hot water rad heat in the house, so there's no forced air. Um, I took an old china cabinet and made it into a sweater closet. That's what I'm putting in there. That whole basket of stuff's going to fit into the new closet, so please pardon it. That's why I wasn't going to bring you in. These are little things and trinkets I thrifted from the uh, secondhand store. You might have saw that the birdies in the vintage turquoise table escape that I did up north on the weekend. And pictures of my friends and family. It's my cousin and I in the Dominican. My girlfriend Judy and I at her wedding. My daughter and I in Montreal. My daughter and her little buddy Matthew when they were kids. That's Rose and I all dressed up. Um, my daughter got me that knee jumped. And again, I just turned this in. This needs to be cleaned up. It's just for sweaters and stuff for the winter. I don't have a lot of space. I'm going to replace this picture up there. I do love it. It's of Jamaica. And it's not that I don't like it. I do. It just doesn't go with the decor right now. And then I have my TV in here. It's just a 19 inch. I don't have a big TV smart tv i don't even have cable or anything i have youtube and netflix some art my cousin got me that at a thrift store in barry uh, that picture i made the other day i think you saw me if you're following me it's actually a winter scene behind it i just like the coloring and i found that little guy up in aurelia for a dollar i've had these mirrors i actually have two of them ones in the in the foyer downstairs um and then there's just pictures of friends and family and little trinkets and stuff and then my bed i've had forever it was a cherry wood as well and people think oh why did you paint it out because i was so tired of the dark wood um my this isn't the exact bedding i want for my bed i think i want to go with more rosies and pinks and stuff but for now you know i have it on here i made uh this um bed tray uh, in a video, I've been trying not to post my bedroom because it's a work in progress and I'm not happy with it. I got the rug. It's brand new. It's Persian beside my bed. I love it, actually. Made uh, the skirt for my bed out of cafe drapes. And if you look closely, I have a lining on them. They're little cherubs. And it was closing out. I got all the fabric all the way around for $4. Old footstool. Um turned into uh to get up in my bed my bed's about uh 16 inches higher than most people's beds so it's called a princess bed it's actually a wheat bed um and the spindle here comes off and when that you take that off that means you've overstayed your welcome back in the day when they had you know the horse and buggy and stuff this this is a bench at the end of my bed and it has little cherub uh for the stand of it uh, I just thrifted two of these up in uh, up at a store that was closing out uh, for a couple dollars. I'm going to use them for my tie backs uh, for my curtains here. These curtains, I love these tassels. Just absolutely love them. These. Um, so that's pretty much my bedroom. That's my new piece of that I found the other day thrifting. I got it for ten dollars. She was thirty four on sale for nineteen and half price, so she was ten bucks. The lamp I got for eight ninety nine. The shade I already had on another lamp. So my daughter and I in New York, and my daughter and I holding hands. Just a glass of water by my bed. This TV tray that I made. Well, I bought the TV tray and then redid it. It's got a picture of a lady in it, and it, this comes off. And the other part comes up so you can put your laptop on it or your iPad or whatever. So it's a work in progress. It's not done. And I thrifted this for $6.99. I'm looking for four globes. I'd like them in a soft pink or a soft green. The finial on the ceiling my cousin got for me from her girlfriend that works in a thrift store. Yeah, so there you go. That's a quick scan of my bedroom. Nothing special, guys. So I just... um gonna make my dinner in a minute i'm gonna make an asian pancake it's hot today so i'm not turning the oven on or the barbecue on or anything like that i'm just gonna make it really easy um yeah so i'll have that and 
I think I'm going to close. So I hope you enjoyed the tour. Please like and subscribe. Hit the notification bell. And I really need some subscribers. So if you feel to be so kind to do so, I'd really appreciate it. And thank you for all those who do subscribe. Ciao. Have a fabulous evening. Oh, look at my new leaf coming out. I know. I'm excited about that. I love gardening. I like anything to do with home gardening, cooking, all that kind of stuff if you haven't gathered already. So that's what my channel is all about. A little bit of thrifting in there to make a home beautiful. So I do all this on a dime, guys, and so can you.